As we told you last week, this is a good time of year to be on the lookout for oak wilt disease. The usually fatal ailment spreads from oak to oak through interconnected underground roots, but only on Austin News at 6 this evening. Jim Swift brings us a rare look at another culprit behind the devastating disease, the sap-eating beetle. Texas Forest Service forester Eric Beckers takes a hatchet to a dead red oak tree near Wimberley in search of his prey, the knitted doolid beetle. A beetle can fly, they've been documented to fly in West Virginia through radioisotope tracking from one mountaintop to the other a mile away. So in Texas we have pretty big hills around here and with these good winds we have, I don't doubt a beetle can fly a mile. So here's what happens. A red oak in an infected live oak area gets oak wilt by root transfer. Sometimes, not always, but sometimes, that now diseased red oak will produce a mat of fungus like this one. The, edge of the, mat. the sweet smell of the fungal mat attracts the sap-eating beetles. They walk on the mat. The spores from the fungus get all over the beetle. There went a beetle. Which then flies away. Catch if it lands on an open wound on a live oak tree for a meal, the spores invade the live oak, and voila, a new oak wilt infestation is born. We need to destroy more diseased red oaks. Uh, March, April, a good time of the year to drive neighborhoods where you know there's oak wilt and look for those red oaks that are not budding out. No one is more convinced of that than Hayes County landowner Stan Ferris. I was very ignorant like most people are about oak wilt just because there wasn't a lot of resources out there then like there are now as far as information. Didn't realize what I had, didn't react the way I should have and been more proactive then and I wouldn't be dealing with such a large problem that I am now. In a month, we'll have missed any opportunity to, to lem eliminate more spore production. So we'll probably do something in, a, in coming days. Today. Today. <laughs> what are you going to uh, do? I'm going to push it down with a tractor, and I'm going to get it into three pieces, and I'm going to submerge it and in what are you a stock tank today. Less than an hour, a tree that had stood for a hundred years came down in an ugly heap. The neighbors a mile away sleep better now, knowing the tree and its oak wilt spreading beetles are no more. In Hayes County, Jim Swift, KXAN, Austin News. The Texas Forest Service has a red oak monitoring network that uses volunteers to keep an eye on red oak trees in known oak wilt areas. That training is free, and you can find out how to join the network through a link we have with this story online. Click on it at the local news page at kxan.com.